Here we have a geometric question. There is a figure given over here. In the figure above, AB equals to 6, uh, BC equals to 8, and uh, CD is equal to 5. We have to find the length of uh, AD. Okay, so let's consider the right triangle ABC because we have right angle uh, over here. So the side AC is opposite to the right angle. So AC is the hypotenuse of the right triangle ABC. Okay, in the right triangle ABC, I know the lengths of the two legs AB and BC. Using the lengths of these two legs AB and BC, I'll be able to find the length of the hypotenuse AC. Once I get the length of the hypotenuse AC, uh, I can use uh, the length of the hypotenuse AC and the given length BC. In the right triangle ACD, I can get the length of the leg AD. Okay, first uh, let's find the length of uh, the side, uh, I mean hypotenuse AC, the right triangle ABC using Pythagoras theorem. So I, I consider the triangle, right triangle ABC. So in this right triangle, uh, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem is uh, uh, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of uh, other two legs. That is AB square positive uh, BC square. So then we get AC square equal to the length of AB is 6, that is 6 square. And the length of BC is 8, that is 8 square. So AC square equals to 36 positive 64. And uh, AC square equals to, when I add them, I'm getting 100. So to solve for AC, I have to get rid of the square. For that, I'm taking square root on both sides. So when I take square root on both sides, the square root and square root cancel out, and AC is equal to, so the square root of 100 is 10. So whenever we take square root of uh, square root for a number, uh, we consider positive or negative uh, for the result. But here I consider only positive value for this result because AC represents uh, the length of hypotenuse in the right triangle ABC. So the length of a side can now be a negative value. So I don't consider positive or negative sign uh, for this result of a square root number 100. So I got the length of the uh, side AC in the right triangle uh, ABC. Okay, now let's consider uh, the right triangle ACD. So in this right triangle ACD, uh, so the AC represents a hypotenuse because AC is the side which is opposite to right angle in the right triangle ACD. Okay, I know the length of the hypotenuse and I know the length of one of the two legs uh, that is uh, DC or CD, it's 5. And I have to find the length of AD. Okay, again we can use Pythagorean theorem in the right triangle ACD. That is if I add uh, uh, the squares of the two legs. So I'm adding the squares of the two legs. That is AD square, positive CD square. It must be equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is AC square. Okay, now uh, I do not know the length of AD. That is what I have to find. So we can uh, keep AD square as it is. I know the length of CD, which is 5. So I can plug in 5 for the CD, then I'm getting 5 square. And also I know the length of AC, that is 10. So when I plug in 10 for AC, I'm getting 10 square. So AD square uh, positive, the value of 5 square is 25 and the value of 4, 10 square is 100. Okay, to solve for AD square first, I have to get rid of this positive 25. So for that, I subtract 25 from both sides. When I do so, this positive 25 and 80, 25 will cancel out. Uh, AD square equals to, when I subtract 25 from 100, I'm getting 75. Okay, so to solve for AD, I have to take uh, square root on both sides because I have to get rid of this square. So to get rid of the square, I'm taking square root on both sides. The square root and square will cancel out. And AD equals to, the square root of 75 can be written as uh, 5 times uh, five times 3. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 3 is uh, 75. Okay, for every two same numbers uh, multiplied inside the square root, we can take one number out of the square root. So for these two 5s, 1, 5 can be taken out of the square root. And 5 times, and uh, this 3 uh, remains uh, inside the square root. So... I got the length of AD. The length of AD is uh, 5 times square root of 3. So I find 5 times square root of 3 in option C. The correct answer choice for this question is option C.